Hank Aaron embodies excellence, greatness, achieved with dignity, class, and decency. And he also embodies the idea of justice. He was just a black kid out in the wilderness, so to speak, who did not have an opportunity for a long time, but who built his skills by hitting with broom handles and sticks, ball top. He's one of the humblest superstars I ever met. I never heard him brag. I mean, not one time. You know, I mean, this guy trained uh, tirelessly. I, I saw him just run around the gym with the medicine ball over and over and over. They have sit there and played with him for as many years as I did. I thank God for every moment of it. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. With Hank, it was just uh, about the giving, the using his platform for really good things and doing a lot of really good for a lot of people. Definitely in the community I come from, I mean, all you'll hear is, is Hank Aaron and how he kind of paved the way for players like me. And being able to hit that many home runs is is pretty, pretty insane. He's kind of the Atlanta Braves. Like, that's, that's who I think of when I think about the Braves. To the greatest ball player, the finest gentleman, Mr. Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron was the smartest player I ever been around. And Aaron was quiet, unassuming. Hank Aaron was a great friend. What a gift from God. Hank Aaron was a Mount Rushmore baseball player and also a symbol of civil rights and justice. He was that kind of an iconic figure. An American treasure. Yeah, everybody talked about him as a fabulous ball player, but he was even a better human being. He treated everyone as they deserve to be treated. And he'll always be remembered not just for his greatness as a player, but as a civil rights hero. During the season, we had struggled with the hate and all of the things that came with that. I used to see all the death threats and all the hate fan mail, you know, that he used to get. There was blatant racism then, and Henry Aaron felt the brunt of it as a baseball player. Henry Aaron paved the way for all kinds of ball players. He embraced everybody in the game of baseball. Henry Aaron is different. It wasn't just the home runs, it was the consistency of, I think, I don't think he ever hit over 44 home runs, but he had 44 a whole bunch of times. That was his number, 44. Time after time, season after season, consistent excellence. When he got to the ballpark, you never would know that he was chasing Babe Ruth record. He was not really so caught up with trying to break Babe Ruth's record as he was trying to be the best baseball player that Henry Aaron could be. Seven fifteen was a milestone baseball moment. Seven fifteen went worldwide. Was a major achievement. One of the greatest moment in history. We knew he was going to break the record. I mean, that was like, it's just a matter of when. I was sitting in the box with Henry's immediate family, and the anxiety was about to overtake me. I was so eager for him to get that home run. We were all getting ready. It, it's gonna happen now, it's gonna happen. He'd hit a ball, I think in Cincinnati or something, and I uh, thought it was a home run. He told me, babe blew it back, you know? <laughs> and you know, anything he told me, I was okay, Hank, I guess he did, so. <laughs> I don't think he was nervous, but he, he, he may just have been showing it differently. I just think he was more determined. Once again, a standing ovation for Henry Aaron. I came to the ballpark and we had a little meeting. Hank told me he's gonna get it over with right, right then. He says, I'm tired of this. When Henry Aaron told you something, you could take it to the bank. He means the tying run at the plate now. Sitting on 7-14. One ball and no strike. Aaron waiting, the outfield deep and straight away. I remember it was cold. It was unseasonably cold. It was the coldest I've ever been in Atlanta. He walked up to the plate and he did what he often does, adjust the cap. On April 8th, 1974, the king was crowned and deservedly slow. There's a drive into left center field. That ball is going to be out of here. It's gone. It's 7 15. There's a new home run champion of all time. 
What a marvelous moment for the country and the world. I mean, the whole world, you know, was watching it. You know, I mean, now I look back, it's 50 years ago, I mean. A black man is getting a standing ovation in the Deep South for breaking a record of an all-time baseball idol. I was sort of out on the edge that, and then when he hit it, that was everything. Yeah, I was on deck, and uh, you know, I could have been the first one run up there. And then, you know, but I, you know, to me, that was Hank's moment. And then they stopped the game, and then his whole family came down. I had to bend down because he was on the ground. I just said, I, oh, I love you. I love you. It's happened. It's happened. He said, we did it. That was, we did it, and we just embraced. You'll see how his mother ran out there and hugged him. And boy, she liked to square them to death. That was a beautiful picture to me. The game was delayed maybe 15, 20 minutes. And uh, all of a sudden I hear like clank, clank, clank. And I'm like, what's that noise? So I turn around and everybody's leaving. <laughs> it was cold, I tell you, it was cold. There's no way to explain what that meant for the game of baseball. And now 50 years later, who Henry Aaron was, what he did, and how he did it echoes down the corridors of time. Babe is a bad dude, but, you know, Hank was better. And it's a marvelous, wonderful, enjoyable moment here in Atlanta. Hank Aaron, the home run king. The home run king. Hank Aaron, the home run king. The home run king. He's my home run king. <laughs>